Traitor Gaius. Lord, you call him Lord? But you only need to say the word, and he will be healed. What are your words worth? You are a fraud and a devil. Deceptive sorcerer. He gets blamed for everything. Like, God gets blamed for everything. Right. And yet he just turns the other cheek. Here we go, season four, episode four of The Chosen. Quintus Benedictus Dio, having sworn the sacramentum to Caesar, the Senate, and the people of Rome to lawfully fulfill the conditions of service as Praetor of Galilee on pain of punishment and found guilty of the murder of a citizen under your charge. You are hereby reduced in rank. Okay, so they're saying that mm -hmm. Rama was a citizen of Rome. Mm -hmm. And so Quintus is therefore guilty of what? Murdering a Roman citizen. Without a trial. Right, right. So actually the praetor there is the um, judicial authority. Mm -hmm. And their main job was hearing cases and ruling. And they're basically mm. like the big judge of the region. Okay. So, you know, if you think of even Pilate and him, you know, in the Praetorium, it says in the Gospels. Yeah. And what? Yeshua's coming to him and he's judging yeah. at the pavement stone. Mm -hmm. So this is what he's functioning gotcha. as here in Capernaum. And so, so there, yeah. there's a difference between, okay, if, if Rama was just a, a, a Jewish citizen mm -hmm. or, you know, just a part of the Jewish people, not a Roman citizen. For sure. That would be a big difference than him yeah. accidentally killing a Roman citizen. Yeah, because think of like Paul when right. they end up. You know, flogging Paul, yeah. and don't realize he's a Roman citizen. And he said, and he says, "Would you do that to a Roman citizen?" And then they're like, "Oh no!" Oh shoot! And they try to like make it right. a secret, and he's like, mm -mm, "Right, exactly." Mm -mm. Yeah. It's like you're not just gonna make this go away, right? So because they knew there were consequences, big difference for treating a Roman citizen yeah. uh, harshly without going through a trial. So that's what the chosen is trying to represent here: mm -hmm. is that she's a Roman citizen, exactly. therefore he can get punished right. for what he did. And if you weren't, then they could, yeah, they could kind of do whatever they wanted, which is why gotcha. most of the Jewish people are afraid of the Romans because they had no right to a trial. Right. We take that for granted in the West, you know, this right to a trial. Right. And, but that was only for mm -hmm. Roman citizens. But of course you could be Jewish like Paul and have Roman citizenship. Mm -hmm. Either by birth or purchased, right? right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. You are hereby reduced in rank. Gradus Diectio, and relegated to lesser service, Milita Mutatio, to be determined at tribunal. No necklace for you. Gotta take away your bling. The guy assaulted. Dressed up, or Atticus all dressed up. Why would Gaius be handcuffed? He told him to arrest him. Oh, that's right. Good thing that they updated handcuffs, you know, rather than right. just a strap. Festina Lente. Bless you. Congratulations. Praetor Gaius. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so if you know what Estida Lente means, put it in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be commenting. <laughs> Lunch is on me. <laughs> Candlelit desk. Hmm. 
He's gonna have to get a new bust. He he's having an emotional time in his life, isn't he? Uh, he's having a day. Well, it's like he's he's starting to warm up to the Lord, <laughs> right? You know, and not wanting to you know live the same life, but he doesn't fully understand it. Then he gets arrested. Then he gets promoted. That's, and it sounds like a, we know what's going to happen next. I mean, his whole, it's a roller coaster. Like, wow, a different roller coaster. Yes. Yeah, I like Gaius. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of like <laughs> high five him or hug him or something. You know, there's just a there's just a tender softy in there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do something. I wanna help him. You know that's not how grief works. How can I be a rock for someone in a moment like this? Thomas doesn't need you to be a rock right now. He needs a firm footing to walk on. Everything just pulled out from under him. This is the way of all the earth. For now. For now. Loss. You know the truth. I, I, I can't just tell him this is the way of all the earth. And maybe don't say anything at all. Would words from Thomas have helped you after you found out about Eden and the baby? You have experienced loss. That makes you more able to go and simply be there with him rather than being the rock. It reminds me of uh, Ecclesiastes, mm. where it says it's better to go to a house of mourning than a house of feasting, mm. because this is the way of all mankind. And it says something like, and the living should take this to heart, mm. meaning death is a part of life. Yeah. And we need to reckon with death <laughs> right so i mean even today in our culture in the west you know we we kind of mm -hmm. put death over here and we just kind of quickly move on we have this an hour and a half service mm -hmm. and hey i need to get back to my life mm. wow you know yeah. and we don't most people don't aren't involved at all yeah. with the burial of the dead mm -hmm. and in you know in jewish history they actually required people to be involved with mm -hmm. the the burial, the preparation. I mean, you were connected to it. Yeah. You sit Shiva for seven days, and you have 30 more days, and you have a year of mourning, and you mm -hmm. recite the mourner's cot. I mean, there's just all these different things yeah. to connect you with the fact that you're not going to live forever. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I love that reminder, and even Yeshua here is saying mm -hmm. that it's not always going to be less way. Right. But it is for now, for now it but is. it's yeah. pointing to this blessed hope mm -hmm. of eternal life. Yeah. Another Jewish tradition with the burial is that you would actually take some of the dirt and then right. cover over the grave. Mm -hmm. And so there's this participatory yeah. connection uh, that you're actually a part of their, their life, yeah. you know, from dust to dust mm. actually like there's this wow. beginning to end reality to it and so you'll actually see uh on jewish mm. gravestones if you go to jerusalem mm. you see all these jewish tombs and you'll see stones on top huh. uh, and that's actually a way even wow. um, in the coming months and years uh, showing that you came and you're remembering wow. the dead, you're remembering their life, you're still connected to mm -hmm. uh, your loved ones who are now, uh, Lord willing, with God. Mm. We'll actually do that when we go to my son's graves. We'll mm. go and we'll pray mm -hmm. uh, to the Lord mm -hmm. and bless him, thank him, yeah. and then we'll leave just a little stone there mm. as a remembrance. It's beautiful. Become a Grafted Ambassador to partner with us so we can take people deeper into God, the Bible, and why Israel matters. Yeah, click on the link in the description below to become a Grafted Ambassador. What's happened? I don't even know what's happened. 
I'm so sorry. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. I know. Just... Just breathe. I can't. I can't breathe. I'm going to be sick. My back. What can I do? I mean, there's absolutely so much that we could talk about with grief and mourning and death and life. It's this thing that I that even in our, like you're saying in our culture, like we push it to the side, most likely because we're afraid of it, mm -hmm. right? But we serve the one who has overcame death. And it's actually right. interesting that when you're doing these things in grief and in mourning, mm -hmm. it actually goes better for you, right? Right, and and it's it's wild that you know the first thing that Jesus says in his his Sermon on the Mount, right, is blessed are those who mourn, mm. for they shall be comforted. It's good. And it's it's interesting that there that Greek word blessed is makarios, I think. Mm -hmm. And it can also be translated as happy. Mm -hmm. Happy are those who mourn. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Like you're just you're right. already not making sense. What's going right. on? But it's like he one, he's the comforter. Mm -hmm. He sends the comforter. And we're also when we're when we're grieving with each other, mm -hmm. there's comfort in that, and, right. and it's a it's it's a necessary part of mourning is is doing it together. In light of what Yeshua has done, and in light of the age to come, in light mm -hmm. of the fact that this is only part of the reality right. that we're going to experience, because there is hope in the age to come. There's hope mm -hmm. in the one who's overcome death. Yeah, I feel like that's why the chosen is using, I mean, this is a consistent theme yeah. throughout the seasons. Mm -hmm. It is. Why? Yeah. Because this is a part of life. Mm -hmm. Death is a part of life. Grieving is a part of life. And and also, I would say, I don't know that we grieve very well. Right. And so I mm -hmm. think they're actually trying to help people mm -hmm. grieve better, mm -hmm. you know, mourn with those who mourn, yep. you know. And so yep. I, I feel like they're actually even trying to mm -hmm. teach people right. how to mourn better. Right. And, and, you know, we know from experience that the best way to mourn is with each other right. in light of the resurrection, right. in light of the age to come. trying to help us here, Yeshua says, you know, you don't have to know what to say. Right. I love that. Yeah. That little nugget of counsel there is great because super huge. there really isn't a ton to say, but it's the presence mm -hmm. of yeah. just showing that you care, mm -hmm. showing that you love them, mm -hmm. being near. Mm -hmm. You you can't relate to anybody else's grief. You know, it's, you know Peter here could be saying, well, I've never had my... Mm -hmm fiance die before or my wife or whatever. Yeah. It's true. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean he can't relate. Right. Because everybody's gone through different levels of grief, different types of grief. And so there is that mm -hmm. that togetherness and hey, we're in this broken, fallen mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. full of darkness, full of pain and suffering. And so we can all relate to each other. Right. Where is she? Where is my daughter? And then, I don't know, there's just, there's so much wisdom throughout the scripture of how to deal with even like this, oh my gosh, fear of death or something like right. that. Like, I think it's Moses that says, teach me to number my days that I may gain a heart of wisdom. Right. And he's like, it, it, that, it, like, we don't want to think about the yeah. end. But Moses is saying, no, actually, mm -hmm. like, help me to, like, know my days are numbered so that I can I can live and move mm -hmm. and do my thing with you in a way that's wise. Yeah. Right. Not in folly.
if this is the only reality there ever is, this age, yeah. this world, mm -hmm. then I can see why people are so depressed. Yeah. Have so much anxiety, stress. Mm -hmm. It's like there's no hope, mm -mm. right? Right. So there, you have to have yeah. the end in mind. Yeah. You have to yeah. have his return have as this focus yep. and this age to come, this beautiful reality of God dwelling with men mm -hmm. and making all things new and you know bringing justice and yeah. righteousness to the earth. Yeah. That has to be set before us. Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's like we talk about eschatology and the end of the world and you know the second coming and it some sometimes it can be like oh that's just way out there it's mm -hmm. ethereal it's like no but it actually or depressed or or oh, scared it scary. can bring fear yeah. and but it's 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 the hope that fills us and helps us yeah. survive today. Yeah. That's what that's part of yeah. what that is. Because we see what happens after that. Exactly. It's because exactly. he comes yeah. and he sets all the wrongs and he makes Hallelujah. them right. You know, Hallelujah. so you have to see it for what it is yeah. because really all that pain and suffering in the end has been happening for two thousand years. Mm -hmm. It's not like that's mm -hmm. the beginning of the tribulation. Right. I mean the tribulation actually began in the garden mm. when Adam and Eve ate the fruit. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that led to the exile. Mm -hmm. So we're here we are. We're still in exile. <laughs> right. We're still longing, mm -hmm. what, to come out of exile yeah. for heaven and earth to come back together again. Amen. So we need that hope mm -hmm. of the ending of the, the full exile, if you will, yep. that is yet to come. Yeah, amen. Thomas, stop! You will proceed no further. You are forbidden to enter this town. Katni, we are in mourning with you. We grieve, but we are not dangerous. Then why is my daughter dead? Dead! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You've already killed me, Thomas. And then you went and killed her. You did this. I blame myself. I'm sorry. I failed in my promise. Thomas loved Rayma dearly, Kafni. And she loved him. What are your words worth? You are a fraud and a devil. Deceptive sorcerer. We grieve with you. I will spread the word far and wide. As long as blood runs in my veins, I will move mountains to expose you, Jesus of Nazareth! I will make sure the world knows you are a liar and a murderer! You have made your feelings clear. We'll leave you in peace. You will see me again. And when you do, it will be the last thing you see! I just keep thinking of the word scorn. <laughs> like it's Yeshua just is takes on this scorn of men mm -hmm. because of who he is and he gets blamed for everything like god gets blamed for everything right right <laughs> you know every evil every problem every pain every suffering mm -hmm. like he just the most accused person in history right yes good yeah. all time no and yet he just turns the other cheek he doesn't lash out he doesn't mm. even defend himself he's just mm. i don't know it's a heavy i guess mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, I love that. <laughs> the graffiti goes back 2,000 years. <laughs> Actually, there's graffiti all over in antiquity, so it really was yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. You think there were people around, you know, his his ministry, like writing it on oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Carving it in places. I mean, and... it makes sense, mm -hmm. right? People being 
super excited and radical mm -hmm. about it, you know. If the former public con of Matthew at this residence was asking, pray to Gaius. One moment. You don't think Gaius intends to bring Matthew back for a tax collection? Eh? I suppose we could ask. Gonna go with Matthew. I can talk to Gaius. All right, I'll come straight back. Take me a trip. Publicanus. No one has called me that in a long time. Please come with us. Publicanus is tax collector. Sorry. Is Matthew in trouble? I don't think so. Thaddeus, Enru, Z, go tell the others to gather their belongings. Prepare for a journey. Can you stop fidgeting with it? I'm sweating. Can I wipe my brow with it? Just try to stop looking nervous. You look nervous. Mm, curious, not scared. No guys isn't the same person who shouted after you when you left the tax booth. Maybe he's having trouble recruiting new tax collectors. Pays well, but you lose everything else. Do well, you think he's looking for tips? Honestly, you would know better than me. We've been spending more time with him lately. And beyond. Beyond? It's nothing. Why do people do that? What? When someone says that something is nothing, it almost always means that it is something. <laughs> it's very odd. Now, when they say it's nothing, it usually means it's nothing for you to worry about. Or it's none of your business. Or it's not a good time to talk about it. Then why not say any one of those things? It would eliminate a lot of confusion in this world. It would. Just that, uh... It's just what? Nothing. That was good. I like the wink. It was a funny exchange. Preter. Right there. He's like, no, I'm Peter. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Peter. <laughs> he smiles. Please. Please sit. That had to be really nerve-wracking, <laughs> you know? I mean, who knows what they're going to say and do, right? I mean, it's an oppressive regime, exactly. right? You know, you don't want to go to their... It's like it's like 10 times worse than going to the principal's office. Yeah, it's more like getting called down to the police station. Oh. You know? <laughs> Maybe in, you know, North Korea. Right. <laughs> or something. like. I said at least 10 times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You couldn't send word of what the nature of the summoning was? Absolutely not. Uh, Peter. <laughs> Am I pronouncing that right? I have it written down here. Someone brought it to my attention. Peter. Uh, it's a little softer. Peter. Peter. Peter and Brady. Lucy Faring Man. I am under pressure to crush any religious extremism or fringe uprising leaders swiftly and lethally. Yeah, and he says lethally here because, mm -hmm. again, most Jewish people were not citizens. Mm -hmm. And so the Romans would do whatever it took to crush an uprising, to keep the Pax Romana, the peace of Rome. Yeah. And so they wanted, I mean, that's their whole job in that sense mm -hmm. is to, quote, keep the peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. If I don't, or if I even hesitate, what? They'll fire you. I didn't expect you to get a taste for power so quickly. Of course. They might suspect that I believe in him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, 
Jesus. Way. We'll be safe here, I can assure you that. I love it. But only if he keeps a low profile. That's not gonna happen. A year ago, sure, it was forbidding people he healed from telling anyone about it, but now it can't be contained. Were you being serious? I don't know. Know. Let's go back over. Stop his mission. Just do it outside the city limits. Okay, that's all I'm asking for his safety and yours. Now I need you to work with me on this. Prita, do you believe in him? Uh, I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> Why haven't you gone to see him if you are considering? I have seen enough. <laughs> I have seen what he does for those who can be of no help to him whatsoever. I have heard him say words that both unscramble a, a lifetime of mystery and fill me with questions. <laughs> the fact that I have seen him is why I'm doing everything. Has your son gotten any better? What? It was a while ago he was very ill. Did he get better? Uh, no. S son? Something is wrong with Marius? Then why haven't you brought him to see Jesus? You say you've seen him do things for people who can be no help to him, so why wouldn't he do this for you who are risking your life and career to protect him? He doesn't need my protection. I just don't want his mission delayed by posturing an infight. You know, some, some believe, believe his mission, mission is to overthrow Rome. I, I, I'm sorry, why does Jesus need to see Marius? Uh, Matthew. I made a mistake that resulted in a child born not of my wife. There's so much going on. I'm, <laughs> I'm loving this conversation. <laughs> it's a fun one. It's a fun one for sure. It's like they're doing, this is really good writing where they're just really showing yeah. him and his journey mm -hmm. and how he's communicating it. And then they're, remember he's Gentile, right? Yeah. Not just a Gentile, but he's this Roman, mm -hmm. uh, well, centurion. Uh, Preet or whatever, but like I think they're they're kind of in shock. Right, right, right. It's like what a, huh? a Roman like, soldier. I, I would love this. Believe in the mm. Jewish Messiah. I'm loving it, and I love that he says like you know he, I've heard him say things that unravel mm. a lifetime of mysteries, right. and yet I'm full of questions. Full of questions. Which is like I mean, yes. you think about this guy coming from a not Jewish context. Mm -hmm. That um, that's that would be the case for exactly. sure. Be like, oh my gosh. I feel the words of life, but I'm like, my mm -hmm. head is spinning because I come from this polytheistic, <laughs> right. gross Roman society, yeah. right? And my world is crumbling mm -hmm. and, and being found at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And still, even even the Jewish people are full of questions. Totally. It's like, that's totally, totally that communicates it so well, For right? Sure. It's like you have this inner peace, this right. inner shalom, but... You still have all these questions oh, out yeah. there. Oh yeah, uh, I love it. The the just the the gospel narrative of a Roman centurion coming to Jesus for mm -hmm. that he trusts him and that he wants he was asking for him to heal his, mm -hmm. his servant and all that is like that would be shocking. That's huge humility. Shocking, and I'm yeah. sure the the Jewish followers around him of Woodburn are just like. Uh-huh. What is going <laughs> on? And Jesus is like, I love this. <laughs> I, I apologize, but uh, the risk of an even greater offense, sometimes people are inclined to perceive judgment because they feel guilty. I feel guilty for betraying my wife. Do you feel repentant? For that, yes. And I love my son. And he's ill. For a long time, yes. Then why haven't you gone to see Jesus, guys? I know you thought about this. You told your family about a Jewish doctor. Because I'm not worthy. <laughs> Neither was I. Join the club. Neither was I. You do not know the things I have done. You know, that's exactly what I said. I'm an outsider. One of his favorite kinds of people. Someone who's <laughs> not Jewish? Yeah. yeah. Those dividing lines don't matter to him. It's part of the reason why he's in so much trouble. Guys, do you believe he's from God? So good. I know it 
must seem intimidating. There, there. Mess. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. That was the worst. Oh, oh, oh man. Gosh. Honestly, Chosen, like, <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, scenes in all of the Chosen. It was good. I mean, it's, <laughs> they did, the, it was, so <laughs> oh, they're, they're going back and forth. Yeah, right. Between the humor uh -huh. and the, seriousness yeah. i mean i just this is like written so well uh -huh. and you're right there it's like everybody can relate to this scene. oh yeah oh yeah are you not being worthy oh yeah i mean there's none found worthy no not even mm -hmm. one yep yep and they're yep. like yeah come on in the water's fine you know i mean mm. wow there's no borders i love how he yeah. said that too yeah and i love i love that you know, there's, there's a couple different tellings of this story, right? And in one telling, I think he says, just say the word. Right. Just say the, the servants come say. to him and just say the word. And he realizes that at that hour, that's when his, his, his the, 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 the little one was healed. Right? right. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not worthy of you to come into my home, you know, right. but, but I, cause, and I under, I get authority, right? Mm -hmm. I've got people under me and they go and they do just, so just say the word mm -hmm. because faith is, beautiful right and yeah. and I, I yeah i love this interchange of worthiness and mm -hmm. and repentant heart brokenness mm -hmm. and 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 also this outsider mm -hmm. like there's this there's this jew gentile so fun reality happening yeah. right here mm -hmm. that they're even saying like no I, that, that those things don't matter to him uh -huh. like like they're kind of like understanding the essence of oh okay just Genesis twelve reality that mm. I will cause you to be a blessing to all the families of the earth yeah. right and so mm -hmm. there's this coming together of the family of God right. under Yeshua yeah that's like you're seeing it like play out here so much so that Matthew's like they're there they're there. <laughs> That was so good. And but the thing is, I'm not making fun of him. It's more like he meant that with every part of him. You know, like he he's trying his best oh to like be there in the moment. And oh that gosh. it's back to even grief and suffering right. and pain and all of that where it's like you don't have to have the words. And even if you have the wrong words, right. it's actually okay. Right. That's... I mean, so many people said really not helpful things <laughs> right but it's like you could see i could tell they meant well right they were just trying to be there just trying they're there they're, so, they're there you know I, what does uh, it even mean <laughs> it's i love it i love it i remember even in in after your boys passed away you telling me stories about how you know when somebody would come to you and they would say i'm, I'm so sorry for your loss you would think i forgive you <laughs> <laughs> It would, it's like, I feel like the English language... It doesn't work, right? There aren't like, good words in the English language for what to say, you know. Like the, yeah, and what they're trying to express yeah. is like, I, 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 this, this is so horrible, like, right. I'm so sorry, but it's... Right. Are they asking for forgiveness? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the word sorry it doesn't, doesn't communicate. quite communicate. Right. It's kind of like love. It's like, I love pizza. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and like, I love you. It's like we use the Wait. same word in these different contexts. And so it, yeah. you know, Hebrew, I feel like has some better words in these moments. But right, right. Uh, even, but. even I remember even you saying like, sometimes you'll use the word my deepest condolences. Right. But some people don't even know what that means. Well, and even you know? condolences, it's, I feel like it's too formal. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. You could say it like in a letter or yeah. something, but if you say it in person, it's kind of like, like, really? Are you from 1806? You... <laughs> exactly. It's like, so I feel like we need to come up with some, better, some better language, language on how to communicate it. And I wasn't mocking know, people. It was just more of no, it was, like... It, it was also a way to process, right. you know... How, it's back to joy and yeah. uh, <laughs> grief happening at the same time where I, I wanted to I don't think you ever say, actually said it to you. No, I did, maybe to you. Maybe to me. But <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> Sorry. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. There's no need to be afraid. I do believe. You're happy crying. I know <laughs> he can heal my son. Will you let me ask him? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I'm the first Jew to willingly lead a Roman soldier to his house. <laughs> the soldier to be led. Now we should stop looking so happy or we'll both get in trouble. Wait here, I'll make sure he's inside. Uh, Peter? I bet you enjoyed saying that. We Roman to see Jesus and he didn't give us permission or ask by us now, to. We've all seen enough to know that this is what Jesus would want. Lying paralyzed at home, he has been sick for so long, and now he is suffering terribly, near death. Take me to him. Lord, you call him Lord? I am not worthy to have you come into my home, and I know you would not be comfortable as a Jew in a Roman's home. But you only need to say the word. And he will be healed. I'm not worthy. The truth about the child, he's actually my son. I am so ashamed I shouldn't even be asking you, but I am. And I know you can do it. Master. I never thought I'd say this, but... He is worthy to have you do this for him. He loves our people. He has helped us. I know. Oh, man. That is too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <sighs> Just the master and going down on his knees. Oh, man. It's like, and, you know, it's all about authority here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's saying, you have the authority. You... You say it, you speak it, you command it. Yeah. And wow. I just I just think the yeah, the the authority shift that's mm -hmm. happening, right? Like his allegiance shift that's happening. Like mm -hmm. you are my lord. Mm -hmm. You are my king. Right. Like I I for him falling on his knees right there. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, that's like yeah. It's perfect. It is. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't know what a messiah is. Mhm. Mm Right, no. he doesn't under, understand this anointed kingly figure of Israel. I don't, I, mm. I don't know that he's getting all of that, mm -hmm. right? Right. I don't know that he would understand that that they're saying he's the king. Mm. But he is. But master, Lord, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he'll he'll get all that eventually. Oh yeah. But it's like I get it. You're the authority over me mm -hmm. and maybe he's singing in kingly terms but if, right, if right. nothing else it's just this submission, submission yeah. to who humility he is, right yeah he's humbling himself right and that's that's yeah. the be one of the beautiful parts of this story is the humility mm -hmm. of a roman centurion mm -hmm. coming in and saying right i need your help and then peter's like he's worthy right he and he's, he's worthy because mm -hmm. this is his heart posture, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. right. And he says that he loves our people, mm -hmm. right? I mean, right. so that he just he just said it all. It's like he's loving God and he's mm. loving others. Right, right. And he's loving the Jew first. He's loving, yeah. that's the hard one here for, mm -hmm. you know, a Roman mm -hmm. soldier. Right. And, and it's like we see this story repeated 
similarly in in like uh, Acts ten with Cornelius, right? right? He's mm-hmm. like, you know, he's he's a righteous man. Exactly. He loves the Jewish people, and he has you know he gives gives gifts, you know. Mm-hmm. And so like there's there's similarities here, mm-hmm. and he, Peter goes to his home and and right. preaches the gospel, and they all get saved, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Do not trouble yourself. You can heal him from a distance with only a word of command. I also have authority with men under me. If I say to one, go, he goes. If I say to another, come, he comes. Anything you command in this world will happen. I know it. Wow. Even this. Stand up. What? Rise. Did you all hear this man? Truly, I tell you, with no one in Israel have I found such faith. I was rejected in my own hometown, and I'm threatened by the religious leaders of my own people, and yet, and yet this man, A Gentile has more bold confidence in what he believes that I can do than anyone I have yet encountered. It is a striking contrast. I mean, because the whole critique of the religious Jewish leadership is that they don't want to have their hands off their power and authority Mm. and privilege. Wow, yeah. You know? And that's what he's laying down here and saying it's... Because he very well could lose his yeah, oh, authority yeah. and privilege mm-hmm. and wealth. I mean, he's he's saying he he doesn't care. Right. I mean, that's the that's why the contrast is so yeah striking. I think I think that's part of what makes this story so powerful right. when you understand the context a little more yeah. of of Roman centurion mm-hmm. giving his allegiance. To, mm-hmm. to the Jewish Messiah. <laughs> right. Like that is a radical yeah. transformation. It's good. Radical transformation. Yeah. I think that's I think that's the word that keeps coming mm-hmm. to my mind is that what we're seeing in in this storyline mm-hmm. and what we see in the gospels is someone that's been transformed. That's good. Someone that's that's coming out of darkness and into his marvelous light, mm-hmm. like Colossians says. It's like this is mm-hmm. the, this is the story of the gospel of right. a transformed life, and I think mm-hmm. that's what makes us so excited when we right. see little like stories like this. It's the radical transformation. Mm-hmm. It's just man, it's powerful. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And he's giving his allegiance yeah. to Yeshua. Yeah, right. When he's saying, "You're my yeah. Lord, mm-hmm. you're my master," and you know, allegiance is connected in with this word faith. Yep. You know, some people like to translate uh-huh. the Greek word pistis. Uh, that's usually translated as faith, right? Into allegiance, mm-hmm. it's just like, all right. Mm-hmm. Instead of hail Caesar, it's right. hail Yeshua. Ooh, yeah. Go. It has been done for you according to your belief. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You have brightened my day to encounter this kind of faith. had faith that Jesus could heal his servant without even coming to his house. We know he can do that. But such faith from a Gentile. Exactly. Let, let's do it now. Let's ask him. It will change everything. <laughs> Terrible time. Ask quiet. <laughs> Rabbi? Yes, speak James. Remember when you said that we could ask for anything and it would be given us? Knock, and the door would be opened. Ah, 
I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, that was the right sermon. <laughs> I thought my Ima told me it was the right. I'm kidding. I, re I remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we have something to ask and for you to do. I'm eager to hear it. Would you? Grant for us to sit at your right hand and your left hand in your kingdom. <laughs> what does that mean? You don't know what you are asking. Three cucumbers and one cat. Yes. He's overpaying. Right. <laughs> Something happens. <laughs> it's got spring in his step now. Rabbi, what's wrong? Are you able to drink the cup that I would drink? Or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? Yes, we are able. We are the sons of thunder. We'll do anything for you. You don't even know what that means either. Tell us. We'll do anything. It means that when we go to Jerusalem, the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and they will deliver him over to the Gentiles, and they will mock him and spit on him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise. What are you talking about? I thought the Son of Man was you. And you will drink the cup that I drink, and be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized. But you do not want that now. You are not ready for it. To sit at my right hand and my left, it is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. You have no business asking what you did. No offense, Nathaniel, but we were here long before you. How could you ask it? And in front of all of yeah, us? Ruling positions, high seats of honor. Stop! All of you have been granted leadership and authority. All of you make up the foundation on which I'll build my church. But you are thinking like the Gentiles, whose rulers lord their authority over their inferiors. That is not how my kingdom works. I have told you this before. And you still don't get it. This has to change. Because their way is not how it will be with you. Whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Because even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. I mean, this is just like a just foundational mm. Yeshua, yeah. right? This servant mm -hmm. leadership mm -hmm. that yeah. the Son of Man came to serve and not to be served. Right. And that's the great uh, reversal mm -hmm. of, yeah, just not just Rome, right, but <laughs> all of... Yeah. Human history, in some sense, this mm -hmm. that we are to serve others. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I do like the <laughs> the cinematic choice that they made of mm -hmm. really like honing in on his face when he said it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it was just an important point of the gospel. It's mm -hmm. it's it's crucial this this humility, and that and that he came to give his life as a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. Like crucial integral like going his way humbling ourselves serving one another mm -hmm. that's how the kingdom works mm -hmm. Yeshua is saying here that they're going to experience the same cup 
that he is and right. baptism. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so interesting how <laughs> he's talking about baptism of death and the cup of suffering mm-hmm. and, yeah. you know, so it's, uh, they're, they're not understanding, I feel like, mm-hmm. most of what he's saying. And I think it would be a little bit difficult to understand when he's talking oh, yeah. about baptism because, you know, you're not understanding that that means he's going to die right and rise again Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. it's but that's what baptism ultimately symbolizes maybe sometimes we forget this but he was a master teacher exactly you know like and so the things that yeshua says Mm -hmm. aren't to be taken lightly Mm -hmm. like it's usually connected to Mm -hmm. lots of other things and so it's that's part of the fun of studying the gospels and his words is that it's it's rooted in something and it's saying something and it's communicating something to, to them and and, and that age mm-hmm. then but also now it's mm-hmm. like I mean there's there's no teacher like Yeshua <laughs> exactly so yeah the Hebrew language I mean this is the language of the Bible of mm-hmm. the Torah of Scripture and <clears throat> the Hebrew language as word pictures oh yeah so the Lord's constantly using word pictures, Mm -hmm. you know, like you're saying, the cup, immersion in water, Mm -hmm. living water, bread of life, all these word pictures, because they're so helpful. And it's cool, too, that he's talking about humbling yourself and being a servant. And that's a really good way to learn the way of Messiah. And and anybody can do that. Mm -hmm. And it might be harder for others, but but, anybody can humble themselves and serve your other your, your brother, your sister, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, like there's opportunities everywhere. Right. And that's a beautiful way to learn the way of Messiah. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's actually two extremes here. You've got like these, you know, fishermen mm-hmm. from the Galilee mm-hmm. who are Jewish. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the highest status Roman yeah. authority Gentile. It's <laughs> good. Right? Yeah, right. And Yeshua is saying, I've come to seek and save all who are lost, yeah. from the greatest mm-hmm. to the least, mm-hmm. uh, meaning in the view of society in the world, I've come mm-hmm. to seek and save everyone. Love this. What's he doing, Sam? Love this. Oh, he's just blowing out some candles. <laughs> wow. Again, this is radical transformation. Mm-hmm. Like, you look around his home. Like, mm-hmm. they've there's, like, idolatry mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah, it's like getting rid of the idolatry. Like yeah. I was saying earlier, like, yeah. this is what is required yes. of us. Yes. Right? To sacrifice and put everything else aside yep. and worship the one true God. Yep. Yeah. And he, it's like, I love that they're portraying that he he knows immediately this stuff's got to go. Yeah. This this is my life is no longer the same. It's good. I have to change. Mm-hmm. And it's it, you're you're seeing this. We talked we've talked about it before this teshuva, this repentance, this turning yeah. from mm-hmm. my my idolatrous ways to serve the living God. Mm, it's good. So I love it. Mm-hmm. I, I love that they're adding that. And it's mm-hmm. like, if you're not paying attention, you're like, why is he blowing out some candles? <laughs> right. And it's like, no, I don't mm-hmm. know. You can even see Poseidon mm-hmm. in this mural on his wall here. Right. And he's the god of the sea, mm-hmm. which Capernaum is right on the sea mm-hmm. of Galilee. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Yeshua, what? Walked on water. Yeah. Called right. the storm right. of the we, sea. Wow. We follow the God who walks on water. Yeah. So this is about, hey, our God is above mm-hmm. your God. He's mm-hmm. El El Yom, the God most high, right? It reminds me of Romans when Paul says that he's like the, the trampling Satan underfoot type of mm-hmm. thing. It's like him walking on water. He's walking on you. Walking on this, exactly. this false God. He's the true Son of God, the true mm-hmm. living God, and He has the keys mm-hmm. to death and the underworld, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. Hades. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. He doesn't even need a trident. That's, that's right. Wow. <laughs> Just a jab, extra jab there. <laughs> ah! 
You're not going to believe it. I do believe it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Wait, what? I already know. Daddy, look! <laughs> Shalom. What? It's something what? that my friends say. It means uh, peace, wholeness. Okay? You are whole again. Shalom. Shalom. Say it twice. Shalom. Shalom. That's it. Well done. Shalom. <laughs> I love this because <laughs> shalom, you know, it means so much. Mm -hmm. It's a but huge word. He was talking about how all the, the chaos, like his words just bring peace, mm -hmm. right? Bring this shalom. Amen. And that's what he's experiencing now, this uh, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest for your soul, mm. right? I mean, he's experiencing that shalom. Yeah. And it's really funny here too because in Greek, mm -hmm. there's no sh sound. Really? That's why Paul, his name is actually Saul, right? Mm. But it's really Shaul. Uh -huh. And in Greek, there's no, there's no sh sound. I didn't know that. So that's why it says Paul also, or Saul also known as Paul. Hmm. Not because he had a name change. Conversion experience. All the text says, if you go read Acts, mm -hmm. is that... His name is Saul, also known as Paul, because Greeks couldn't say Shaul. Mystery Saul. Mystery Saul. So that's why I think it's it's great here that they're they're going shh. It's like how do you say shh? Sh 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 you know, it's like a new sound that they're not familiar with. I like it. That's mm -hmm. fun. This is a patriarchal society. Yeah. And so when yeah. the patriarch is shifted, it he has so much influence yeah. that they're all like, what? Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, changes everything. Mm -hmm. From my sides are filled with burning. There is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble in Christ. Go because of the tumult of my heart. Oh Lord, all my longing is before you. My sight is not in from you. My heart throbs. My strength of fear of me. The light of my eyes, it holds with God. My friends and companions. Zeb, we're ready for the first stone. Ah, I love this spot. First press, sacred unto Adonai alone.
I love this foreshadowing here mm. of his suffering and the oil, you know, being pressed and, mm -hmm. you know, poured out, crushed for our iniquities, you yeah. know, yeah. and bearing, carrying our sin. Right. And then it also reminds me of just for the joy set before him, mm -hmm. he endured the cross. Right. You know, Hebrews 12, like, he's like, you know, seeing the coming suffering. They're talking about going to Jerusalem, like this this march where he's heading toward this mm -hmm. ultimate moment of his life. Yeah. But then he's reminded, he's seeing his his friends, he's, he's quoting there, and family. Mm -hmm. And then he's seeing... You know, also a Gentile. He's seeing <laughs> Jews and Gentiles for, and joy is connected to yeah. friendship. Like true joy is found in relationships. For sure. And so he's saying, yeah, for the relationships set before me, it's good. I can, yeah. I can endure the cross. Yeah, and to to see him withdraw mm -hmm. was. I mean, very much a part of his story. He would withdraw to desolate places to pray, and mm -hmm. psalms were, I'm sure, included in that. Mm -hmm. And you could see him quoting the psalm, and then Psalm um, 22 is a psalm suffering yeah. servant psalm. For right? sure, he sets his face like mm -hmm. flint towards Jerusalem. It's like he he was determined right. that that this was going to uh, come to pass. Mm -hmm. All the things that. You know that that had been planned beforehand were right. or were going to happen, mm -hmm. and like you're saying, for the relationships, for the joy set before right. him, he endured the cross, right. he endured all these things. Right. No greater love than that. Yeah, right? exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. <laughs> They're also saying Ohio wrong. In the song. Ohio, 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 Ohio. <laughs>